companies got worse, as people say? Are they becoming more exploitative? Or are they actually, I think, getting a little bit better? Believe it or not, cynics, of course, won't agree with me there. We actually have a whole field of endeavor called corporate social responsibility, also known as uh, sustainability. And in that, we try and encourage companies and institutions, public as well, to be as socially responsible as possible. Uh, what we, when we talk about uh, corporate social responsibility, we actually mean, we talk about the social responsibility of companies towards their stakeholders and vice versa. Of course, stakeholders have to be responsible as well. So corporate social responsibility is about treating stakeholders responsibly. This definition has been around for a number of years and uh, has been applied by myself and many, many other people for a long time. So how does it help us to look at some of the issues of the day? Let's take, for example, one word that you've heard of, which is populism. So what is populism? Well, we've all heard about it and we think we know what it means, but essentially what it means is, I'm afraid, in many cases, racism. And we see a lot of that Unfortunately, in the United States, where we, we hear a lot about white supremists. Why in this day and age we have to worry about different races, we have to worry about immigration and people looking different from us, absolutely crazy. We should be looking at who the people are and what they're doing, but we tend not to. Populism, unfortunately, is taking us into that uncomfortable era of anti-immigration. So what does it mean to most of us who are immigrants in the end? To be quite honest, it means white supremacy. And we see that right across the world from Hungary to Russia. And now, believe it or not, in the United States itself, especially with people like Stephen Bannon, and I'd love him to come along to your program here, and we could have a chat, because this guy is causing a lot of mischief, and I'm hoping that I can help to reduce that mischief. Don't forget that companies were given the edge after the fall of the Berlin Wall in the later part of the 1980s, early 1990s. After the fall of the Berlin Wall, companies were given their head. Therefore, we ask them, to some responsibility. Um, and we found that, in fact, companies today have done pretty well out of the series of events since the fall of the Berlin Wall. In fact, they've amassed huge fortunes for their owners. Corporations in the USA, Japan, and the UK together have got something today of a mountain of something like seven trillion dollars in cash. Well, what is a trillion dollars? Doesn't mean anything to you and me, it seems a lot of money. A trillion dollars, seven trillion dollars. The US defense expenditure is half a trillion dollars a year, an awful lot. And it's just been increased by 40%. What for? The more thing we need is more wars, like we need a hole in the head. Seven trillion dollars is something like 14 times the American defense budget. That's what corporations are holding on to, and we're hoping that they're going to invest. But up to now, have they invested back? No, they've tended to invest into their shares. And so shares have gone up in value. This is now leading to hurting the economy as companies hang on to their huge fortunes, and they're not investing it socially responsibly. We'll be looking at that in other episodes. Thank you.